Hi, this is Techies, and today we have another repair video for you. Today we're going to be fixing a PS5 that has artifacting issues. Oh, check out the screen. You guys can see the flashing colors over there on, this, on the two lines going there. Uh, it's from this bad boy here. A common co uh, cause for this issue is actually the memory. On the PS5, there are eight GDDR6 modules. I'm just going to apply a little pressure to each one. Keep doing that. There you go, pushing the chip, and you guys can see that it turns the green. Oh, and, and, and it totally went out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it looks like we figured out which one is giving the issues. That chip there. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've got a uh, placement for that module. Uh, in this case, it's a Samsung. Uh, they're actually, the PlayStation 5s actually have two types. Some of them use Micron, some of them use Samsung. Oh, uh, this is a stencil for placing new balls on the chip. Okay, yeah, and this is the chip itself right here? Yes, that one uh, didn't come with balls, so we've got to... Solder balls and all that. Put some solder balls on. And when you have up here, is this the, the heating pad then? Yeah, that'll heat it. And melt the balls back in place. Okay. Mm -hmm. And don't try this at home. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of flux on it to get the balls to stick. Just kind of spread it around a very thin layer so it doesn't cause them to slide around. Right, now I'm going to put it in the stencil or in the holder. Try to see. Lock it in. And it's probably hard to see, but the stencil lines up with all the solder ball holes. Yeah. Now, what size solder balls do we use? All right, zero, four, five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And these are leaded, by the way. Two thirds tin, one third lead. Just gonna pour a few of them on there. Remember that marble game where you had to twist the knobs all around to get the holes, marbles to go in the holes? Labyrinth. Yes, I feel like this is that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is to make sure you have any excess balls, and he's just to make sure there's one in every single hole, and then he's gonna peel off all the extra ones. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, it looks like it warped it up. We're gonna bring the hot plate under. And look that over. Yeah, they look okay. Sure. Okay, so now he's trying to warm it up. That's why we're not using the air to actually move the balls around. We actually have a plate that'll melt them in place, so. Yeah, and it'll do it more evenly, too. Yeah. Well, it should probably take 30 or 60 seconds. We'll just wait for the balls to move and look we're fine. All right, so we got a couple balls we got to fix on there, right. but you can see it's smoking now, mm -hmm, and, they're, uh, and they're all nice and shiny in place, except for those couple we got to fix. So we're gonna, oh, here they go! And oh, look at them all snap in place. See that? Yep. And that one rolls off, and we'll fix those three. All right, all right there we go. We are done. Okay, now so now that we've got it all finished, we got to clean it up. So I'm gonna use some alcohol and a toothbrush. All right, now. Now we're gonna take the old one off and swap them. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I've got the old, uh, I've got the motherboard out, and I have taped over a few components that might get lost otherwise. There's just some capacity. And which chip are we changing? I'm changing this one in the corner. I believe it's bank number five. Okay. You can count them this way. I'm gonna use some hot air. I'm just gonna poke it every now and then to check. Our temperature right. Let me use an iron with a flat flat end. New fresh solder is being added. What are we doing, sir? We're gonna use solder wick to remove the existing solder that's on the pads. Using Use the goat wick, we like it a lot. Q-tip and alcohol and get all the residue all off so it's a nice and clean surface. Mm -hmm. Snap in place real easy. Gotta be very, very thin. Yeah, if you put a lot on there, flux will bubble and push the chip around. Yeah. Yeah, very important that the orientation of the chip goes on the right way too. Mm-hmm. Over, align the dot. You can see the previous chips which way, so the next goes the right way, is that right? Yep, and on the motherboard there is an arrow. One, two, they look like pads, you know, the regular yeah, 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 pads yeah. are circles, but, are lined up. but these four are square, and that's because they don't actually go to anything, they're markers. 
Okay. Uh, what are we gonna do next, Riley? Uh, now we're going to heat it up. The temperature. And it rises to the solution here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use max temp and air. Pump. Yeah, start farther away. Now we'll let it cool and then clean it. All right, guys, so now he's pulled the tape off. He's just gonna clean it with some 99% uh, alcohol. Uh -huh. And again, 99% alcohol, yeah. not 80. Get it under there. Toothbrush, scrub all around it. And this is the famous Riley. Just ask for him whenever you come in. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> so what I was doing here is this is the liquid metal. Oh, this is... He's respreading it back around on the chip because it tends to move around a little bit, especially when it stands up, which is a big no-no. Always keep your PlayStation 5 laying sideways so this liquid metal doesn't slide down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here it is. You guys can see the new chip in there, and we're gonna see if it comes up here in a second. And look at that—a beautiful screen with no funny colors anymore. 